Reach it. The plaque reads Fish Eyes Alabaster, anarcho socialist pirate philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque, soiled and forgotten in the bowels of humanity. that to my pirate face repertoire. Well, that's not gonna work. Moist, but expedient. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck, dangerous stuff that is, makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay, one drink coming up. time with the democratically united brotherhood of the manatee interior how can i not can't wait to be voted in we'll see about that in the meantime i don't want any trouble we got it nice and easy down here okie dokie just some friendly advice don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. the last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored we don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds Seriously. I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad we're on the same page. Hiya, Chief. How's that drink coming along, Swabby? Don't worry. I'm on it. that nonsense? A pirate face. Intimidating. Arr. I am an explorer and esteemed adventurer. I don't do those sort of things. Oh, not even a little? Not even a little. All right then. Take care.
pool of acidic yellow bile. The level's too low to take a sample. My man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. One cup of horribly corrosive, ultra toxic manatee bile. Delish. Where has my monocular run off to, slippery devil? Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dacaba's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses, or uncover loads of secret messages. No secret messages there. Hiya, Chief. How's that drink? Don't worry. All right. Take care. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them. No harm done to them? Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman. Taking after old Coronado, I see. A mug full of the bily bubbly, and thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. <laughs> Check out those eyes. Uh, oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. It's Eustachian runoff or seawater for me from here on. My man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it.
portrait of fish eyes alabaster. It's covered with ancient grime. I can't see the painting. Manatee bile, the ocean's natural solvent. Whoa, check out those peepers. They should do nicely. Little help? Ahoy there. Now what? Later, buggy bilgewater. So long, three worse. Doogie, my man. Arr! Yarr! Ooh, that's a good one. Hi. Sup? Nice technique. Ahoy there. Now what? I'm ready to beat you in a pirate face-off. Well, I hope you've done some face research since our last one. Ready? I'll go first. It's the... Arr, stinky, tweaking, meanie. <clears throat> Here comes trouble. But can you top this? He's got the Arr! hooded cross-eyed geezer. <laughs> All right, my turn. Got the Arr! bugged out, lazy eyed Gomer. Bye. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the High Prince of the Puss. Bravo. Now is the Ombudsman of unoriginality. Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, short stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? Holy buckets! It's the bug eye! Rarely seen, bros and bras. <laughs> The challenger can't top that. This competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Well, extreme. He clearly broke the rules. 
Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Ugh. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. You, you yelly-bellied deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch! You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threepwood for the rest of your very short life! Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh-huh. Fine! He wins! My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Nice! Doogie, my man! I could really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here. And I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Sounds delightful. One day, coming up. Hey, Mo. What is it? to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing cochlea. Sounds like a personal problem. It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kind of portly if you ask me. Come on, you should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I feigned enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Did I say date? <laughs> I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this lowlife is from. Okay. Second, you must... Take his hand, test his grip, in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly, check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay, so... Interrogate, test his grip, and then check for weapons. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first, I was really nervous. Yeah? But it turned out great. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. 
It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Get thing creepy. <laughs> uh, sorry. Hey, Mo. What is it? Hey, what's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. I am a fan. I just thought I was a fan of a ruthless buccaneer, not some sensitive pastry chef. Hey, pastry chefs are tough as nails. You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and dehanditating people. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Watch me. Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Pretend wives sure are fickle. I wonder what my real wife is up to. Probably pining away for her mighty pirate husband. There's something about the open ocean that makes a man feel alive. I would imagine that simply having a pulse is a bit of an upgrade for you. <laughs> These filthy creatures do we need to unload before we can meet up with Guybrush? Dozens. Seven more islands and one peninsula should suffice. Seven? Listen, Chucky. Drop all the simians on the next patch of dirt we pass, and then we find my husband. We can't do that, Elaine. These monkeys need to be given proper homes, far apart from each other, for their comfort and happiness. Ships can roast on an open flame for all I care! Elaine? You don't mean that. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I do apologize, monkeys. Lush homes all around. I do apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. Actually, it's crazy to say this, but I'm proud of you. Really? Look at you, going out of your way to set things right. Who ever thought LeChuck would do such a thing? It's only the beginning. <laughs>